Alright, for our next problem, we're going to solve a fractional equation. So we have 4 over 3x minus 9 plus 5 over 6x minus 3 equals 1 over 2x minus 1. Now these might look like completely different denominators, but two of them factor. And if we're lucky, we'll get a nice LCD out of all this. So factoring a common 3 out of the denominator here, we have 3 times x minus 3 plus 5 over, well again there's the common 3, so we pull a 3 out and we get a 2x minus 1. And that equals 1 over 2x minus 1. So indeed we do have a least common denominator. Specifically, it's got to have a 3, an x minus 3, and a 2x minus 1. If it has those three factors, then it will contain each of these individual denominators as factors. That's going to be very useful to us because if we multiply every term by the LCD, we will cancel out and we will lose all of our fractions. So, I will do just that. I'm going to have 4 times 3 times x minus 3 times 2x minus 1. This is the first term. All over 3 x minus 3, plus 5 times 3 times x minus 3 times 2x minus 1, all over 3 times 2x minus 1, equals 3 times x minus 3 times 2x minus 1, all over 2x minus 1. Now observe what cancels. The 3 and the 3 the x minus 3 and the x minus 3, the 3 and the 3, the 2x minus 1 and the 2x minus 1, and here the 2x minus 1 and the 2x minus 1. So we're left with 4 times 2x minus 1 plus 5 times x minus 3 equals 3 times x minus 3. It's at this point that I'll pause and show a pattern that will allow you to skip this step for most situations. Now, when we used to solve, not solve, but work with fractions, we would find the LCD and multiply each term by what it needed to get to the LCD. Now, this term, 3x minus 3, needs a 2x minus 1. Well, notice we have the numerator and the 2x minus 1. This term would need an x minus 3. Here we have a 5 and an x minus 3. This having a 2x minus 1 needs a 3 and an x minus 3, and sure enough that's what it has. Now this is equivalent to saying do what we used to do, that is make all these a common denominator and then add the cross the numerators, and then we're just comparing numerators, because that's exactly what this is. This is the numerator of that type of problem. So let me proceed, distribute, 4 times 2x is 8x minus 4 plus 5 times x, which is 5x, minus 5 times 3, 15, equals 3 times x, which is 3x, minus 3 times 3, which is 9. Okay, combine like terms, 8 and 5 is 13x, negative 4 and negative 15 is negative 19, this equals 3x minus 9, so I'm going to subtract 3x from this side and I'm going to add 19 to this side and that's going to give me 10x is equal to 10 so I divide by 10 x is equal to 1 now we need to double check make sure that it's an actual solution because it is possible that our solution is one of the things that makes the denominator 0 and thus undefined uh, it would appear that that's not the case, but we can check our answer anyway. 4 over 3 minus 9, so that's 4 over negative 6, so that's negative 2 thirds, plus 5 over 6 minus 3, so that's 5 over, uh, 5 over 3, so negative 6, or no, sorry, negative 2 thirds, and, hold on, okay, 
I'm just going to stop at this point. You can use your calculator to verify that this is correct. x equals 1 is our solution.